Folks, today I have in front of me uh, an, an original Bialetti, Mocha Express. So for those of you who do not know what is a Bialetti, Alfonso Bialetti in the 1930s, actually I think it was 1933 exactly, he invented this method of making coffee which became a household name in Italy. Without further ado, let's get into the B-roll. This is not a sponsored video. I got this as a gift. It comes in several parts. You can see there's a lid here. It opens like this. There's a washer here and a filter. But this has to be used twice before you actually start serving coffee from it. Now that's the filter. That's the valve. And water has to come just below the valve Let's go about the process of making coffee thrice and then we'll taste and I'll let you know what it feels like. Till just below the valve that you see over there. I'll put this on the stuff. Now normally they say that not to have a flame which is larger than the pot itself but well I don't have an option here. Let's put it this way, the color, the way I see it, it looks, it resembles something between a pour over and an espresso. The way this thing works is, you see there's a safety valve here and we keep the water just below the level of the safety valve. And once the water starts heating up, it goes through the funnel, the, the steam I believe. And there's some kind of pressure because of that, which is why you have a safety valve. And that then goes up through this Go, goes through the coffee and comes out through this and you have the coffee coming out from here. I'll wait for it to oxidize a little bit before I taste it, but it looks pretty good. Full disclosure, two things. One, I, I, I have some old coffee always lying around for reasons like this, where I had to do three processes, uh, where I had to make the coffee thrice to generally start the process of the reality. Second thing is that they say don't put in hot water, they ask you to put in cold water into this, but I put in hot water for the simple reason that I learned from, again, full disclosure, James Hoffman, that you see, I try to heat the coffee as little as possible because often people say in a Mocha Express, the coffee gets bitter. The reason for that could be the cold water because if you heat the coffee, because this sits on the stuff with the coffee in there, it can, make the coffee a little better, which is why I put preheated water and put it on the stuff. And then let's see what it tastes like. Since it's not filtered, there is some residue underneath. Wow, it's good. It's a medium roast, a Mexican uh, single origin coffee, which I have been using at home with for the pour overs and the moment I had it with the pour over I knew immediately that it is something better to have with an espresso or something like like a mocha express. So the full process from the bureau itself I believe you could have figured out how to make this coffee. Okay the steps are very simple open it up as I showed you fill in the water till below the level of the valve fill up the filter the funnel with your coffee do not tamp place the filter or the funnel into the water, close it and put it in the flame. Now they say that the flame should be smaller than the width of this, which is not always possible. It's not possible in, in my kitchen, but I did it. Isn't it fascinating just looking at the coffee coming out of the spout and spreading all around. And with that, the aroma spreads in the house. It's wonderful. The only thing with that I do not like about the Bialetti is that we do not have specific measurements like 15 grams of coffee to so much of water and so on and so forth. Uh, this gives you 60 ml of coffee though. I wish it was a little more of coffee there to get a more intense sensation, but it's, it's really very, very good. I do highly recommend, not a sponsored video once again, but I'll leave the links in the description down below. If you go and buy, I have a bunch of coffee links down there. If you buy anything from there, 
I get a very tiny commission which helps me run this channel and bring you these videos for you. Do leave your comments down in the comment section saying what is your favorite coffee method? Drip, Mocha Express, Espresso Machine or you prefer milk coffee and so on and so forth. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy. Oh, you're still here. Just wanted to tell you a few more very important tips. Mm. Cleaning it. Remove all parts, clean it with cold water, do not use detergent and do not use any kind of abrasive wool or like a scotch bright to clean it up. It will damage your biality. If you want to store, make sure that you wipe out all the water sticking to it, store it dry. But why would you store it? Keep drinking. Enjoy. Make biality coffee every day. You'll really enjoy it.